Hello fellow modders and guitar amp enthusiasts. Welcome to episode one of Make Amp Metal. You know, my favorite kind of music to listen to as well as play is hard rock and metal. And typically when I'm working with the amplifiers, my main goal is to produce a hard rock or metal kind of sound. So um, what I do is um, work on adjusting the, say, the, the built-in settings, um, the built-in parameters, um, or if uh, that doesn't achieve the tone that I'm looking for, then I start experimenting. So in this video, what I did was, and actually I took this video last week, But anyway, I'm experimenting with uh, this little Laney Cub 8 tube amplifier. So it came as a combo. So this little, this cute little cabinet. And loaded with uh, a Celestian Super 8. Um, it's typical 8-inch cheap guitar speaker. So this amplifier looks like it's a, a typical single-ended Class A circuit. It's got a 12AX7 and a 6V6GT. Uh, both of these Came stock, uh, they're tongue sole. And I haven't done any modifications yet, so it's really just a simple volume and one tone control. And just one glance at the circuit, it looks like it's uh, just a really straightforward, basic, single ended uh, circuit, nothing fancy. So, what I did was experimented with essentially just connecting different speakers to this and if of course you notice today I'm wearing my safety glasses um, I do want to mention safety first um, so as you're watching my videos um, it may look like I'm uh, I won't say careless but comfortable with um, handling a tube amplifier like this um, outside, you know, with the chassis outside of the, um, the cabinet, um, you know, and the high voltage and the dangerous parts exposed. Really, the reason that I'm so comfortable is because I've been playing with electronics for like 30 years, um, tube amps, um, probably for 15 years. So I kind of know what I'm doing. But that being said, um, if um, if you're new to this and and not feeling comfortable. Um, definitely don't do this. So tube amplifiers especially, um, all amplifiers, all guitar amplifiers um, can contain hazardous voltages but especially tube amps. Um, so if you don't know what you're doing um, yeah, definitely um, don't do what I'm doing. Um, I'm always also thinking about uh, safety um, so um, you know, there's been a few times in my life where I did get shocked by high voltage and it's not fun and I don't want to do it again. So typically I, when I'm handling these, especially when powered up, um, I'm not, um, I make sure to keep my fingers away from any of the dangerous voltages. Because not only is it painful, it could also be deadly. So if, uh, you know, if electric shock goes through your heart, it could be enough to stop your heart and game over. So that being said, safety is always, always uh, critical when uh, working with electronics. So um, save your eyesight always, safety glasses. You want to be able to watch YouTube videos uh, for a long time. Um, and then, of course, um, always be aware of dangerous voltages. So that's the amplifier in this video. Featured app. Put it out of the way. And then to get additional overdrive, since um, 
The amp circuit really um, doesn't have enough overdrive to achieve the tone I'm looking for. I found, and I've got two of these, I was looking through my guitar stuff, um, and I don't even remember um, the circumstances, um, but this is a, a Donner, a Donner Morpher uh, overdrive distortion. Uh, so you can get these for about $25 on Amazon and other places. Um, it's actually um, pretty good for for the price. Um, it's just a simple a simple gain. It's got uh, um, simple gain, uh, level, and tone, and then also has three uh, settings. Um, say for the um, I think it's additional EQ, um, natural, tight, and classic. Uh, this does not come with a, a nine volt battery option. Um, it just has a 9 volt uh, DC uh, power connection. Um, so you'll see me start out first with uh, just the amp maxed out and then um, switching this on and you'll be able to hear the difference obviously. So I started out connecting up to the Celestion green back and then so I did not reconnect this, uh, so this was the stock, stock Celestion that came with the Laney amplifier. However, I do have this, uh, <laughs> this other custom, um, I think this was the uh, custom, oops, uh, custom uh, Tube 12, I think it's called. Anyway, this one is, is essentially the same speaker in it. Celestion Super 8, GA8, G8A-15. It's 8 ohm, probably what, with the part number 15 watts, I'm guessing. So that's the second one. And then thirdly, I'm experimenting with this uh, PV Patriot Raging Cajun 10-inch. Uh, um, that's also an 8 ohm. Um, loaded inside of a, it's a crate V5. So, so let's see what we can do with it.
for watching my little demonstration. I genuinely appreciate your support. If you enjoy what I'm doing, you like watching my videos, go ahead and hit that red button. See you next time. Take care. Happy modding. What do you have against ears, hmm? You just like to torture me? Hmm. I think he wants his own show. Okay, not for now, Bob.